Swamiji himself did not have any place to sleep. He was sitting, he was sleeping, resting under a place with just a false roof, which too was broken. Not only that, he wanted to show by example what it means to sacrifice. So he opened out the space. He was actually sleeping with the people in a simple makeshift cot, no amenities, not even a bathroom for himself. And he was up at three in the morning to supervise the cooking. He wanted to light the first fire for today's meals cooking. Up at three, came, came back after distribution of all the food at about 11 or 12 in the midnight, supervised all the operations for today, uh, rested for hardly three, four hours, and he's up and again in action. He said, this is a learning for everyone, for all the devotees, disciples who are here on the field, for all of the people who are in various locations in the world trying to help these relief efforts in whichever way they can, either through, through giving their voluntary physical efforts or through their money or through their best wishes in whatever way. And especially for the ashramites, he was saying, this is a practical learning experience for, for real practical service. Really in getting it into our muscle memory, what it means to serve the people. So he said, this is going to be a huge learning experience for everyone involved in this relief effort. It's a direct experience of exploding into enlightenment. There you see the food is already packed to two big vessels of food. Two big vessels of food ready to be dispatched. No, we are holding it. We are holding it. Can you see? That is the food already packed into the uh, packets ready to be distributed. Last night itself, we distributed the food to five places, five distribution points, served to about 3,000 people, meal packets, food, medicines, and Swamiji himself went and uh, healed the people. He was directly involved in relief efforts. And now we'll show you all the vehicles lined up to go to the different places. There you see our banner. All our vehicles are ready to go with the banner of Nityananda Dhyanapitam working for the Thane Cyclone Relief Works. You see that? Great. Now, if you see, there is a line of vehicles waiting to carry the food which is getting, as and when it is getting cooked, it is getting dispatched. We have a whole team of our ashramite and devotee doctors who have rushed into this place and who, are, who have already left to their respective villages to give them medical attention and immediate food and medical care. There you see a far shot for all the vehicles that are lined up. This hole. It's very foggy out here. That's why we are not able to show. In this cold, everybody is busy working. They're sweating it out. But the, the thing to be learned, Swami said, from this whole thing is, we don't need any infrastructure to be able to serve the people with whatever infrastructure we have. Let us serve the people till the last drop of sweat is there in our body. Let us continue to work. This is exactly what he said when he means work, 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 and just work. He gave the example of Swami Vivekananda, who, when the Calcutta plague happened, rushed all the way from America, even though all his disciples were involved in the relief work, he came and he used to work from day till night and just in the process to flesh the body. So there we are starting our relief efforts for today. After a long day yesterday, we just landed here yesterday with no arrangements for anything. There were no cooking vessels, no gas cylinders, no utensils. No people, because the pe there is no telecom.
communication over here. We just got one line over here. There is no electricity. The people over here have been living without electricity for the past one week. And they say that it's going to take about a month to get back the electricity connections going. Because of no electricity, no water. People have no water to drink, no water to clean themselves. So here we are. We have bought huge cans and thousands of packets of water, 50,000 packets of water that are going to be distributed today for people to be able to drink water, to have drinking water, along with the food packets that we are distributing. We are targeting, reaching out to 1 lakh people through our food packets and through our water packets today. This is just the short-term relief efforts that Swamiji has sanctioned, running into over 25 lakh rupees. And this is just a start because the long-term relief efforts are yet to come into action. We are, going, we are meeting with the government people, the collector, to understand the whole geography, uh, what all has been destroyed. We ourselves have made a survey. We found all the places where shelters have been broken, agricultural lands have been destroyed. But now we are also waiting for the collector to give his estimate of the broader population, what all they need, so that we can start working on the long-term relief efforts in just a few days from now. There you see again, we're trying to show the food, the food packets that have been packed up, neatly arranged. It's been a, a great learning experience for everyone involved. A lot of the Inner Awakening participants have made it over here, and they're having a real experience of Inner Awakening. All the Westerners who do not even know the language, just transcending all boundaries of nation, religion, culture, no matter what, and just coming together for the cause of humanity. It's hot food. If you can see, Rishi Abhay can't even pick up that food. He's trying to hold it up for you. He's not even able to hold it. It's that hot. It's breakfast, lunch, and dinner, all three meals being cooked. The instruction given by Swamiji was the food should be cooked in the way it is cooked for me. In fact, yesterday, last night, he did not even have his own dinner. He took the food that was cooked for the relief efforts, and he had only that. He said the standard should be I should be able to eat the food. There is no compromise on quality as well as on quantity. Today also, he's been up since three. He's not had anything. He's just busy giving instructions to people. One batch has already gone for distributing the food and the medicines. This is just the rest of us whom we see over here are the ones who are just on site on the, on a, in our Ashram campus packing the food so that we can send it for the next batch of uh, food. So here we are exploring into enlightenment in action. We'll have Swamiji live for you all as soon as we can once again. Stay tuned. Thank you so much. We exhort each and every one of you who's watching over here to support these relief efforts in whatever way you can. So just to add, Swamiji is going to be here for almost a week, if not more. He's canceled all other operations, all other important activities. He's just here on the site so that he can spread his healing energy to one and all over here. Heal the people, heal nature, and just heal the whole universe. So please don't miss this, this rare opportunity, rare for us, of course, everyday event for him. Please don't miss this lovely, beautiful opportunity to come together to serve the people. There you see the cooking in action, the food being cooked. you see the food being cooked. This is an everyday affair for us in all the other places. Like in Tirvannamale, every day food gets cooked like this. But here the difference is we have no infrastructure. This whole thing has been assembled overnight. If you see, we just have one makeshift roof above this. 
It's Swamiji's grace, of course, that we don't have rains here to add to our challenges. But there we are. So all these gas cylinders, utensils, stuff, everything was brought overnight from not only within this locality, because there is not much left over here to procure from. They have been brought out from Tirvannamalai, Tirupattur, all the other surrounding places. Our people have actually traveled, procured these equipment, these materials, everything from firewood to rice to oil. And there it is, the cooking happening. There you see our brahmacharis and brahmacharnis supervising these operations. All the rice getting cooked, the vegetables being cooked. Already they have started cooking for lunch because breakfast has started going. We need to start cooking for lunch. See all the materials stacked up over there. It's all makeshift. But one thing, Swami said, no compromise on quality. So even though it is makeshift, we are ensuring that the food is completely clean. The people in one of the uh, villages that we went to, where we were serving yesterday, the people were so overwhelmed with gratitude. Swamiji's compassion. They said, you, you coming and serving us is, is just amazing. We are so grateful to you for that. But if we can just share our heart, we just want Swamiji to step in over here and step his foot here. And we know that it is all that will be needed to heal all of us in body, mind, and spirit. In fact, Swamiji has declared that he will install a Shivalinga here just like he installed in Los Angeles which is on a fault line, and the earthquake which used to shatter California worth over crores, over millions and billions of rupees, of dollars. Now, in the last two and a half years, if you track, there has been no earthquake affecting California because Swami installed the Shiva Luka and the Venkateshwara statue in our Los Angeles temple. In the same way, he said he is going to install a Shiva Linga here and the whole negativity associated with this place in terms of uh, the collective negativity and nature's negativity, nothing will affect this place anymore. So yesterday he started with the launching of the, uh, of the mission here with the Nityananda mission flag being raised and he's going to continue with the establishment of Shivalinga. So he's working in multiple planes, as you see, in the human plane, on the release plane, in a mystical plane, in the healing plane, and innumerable such planes. There you see him live in action, giving instructions, supervising the operations, micromanaging down to the last detail to ensure that the release works happen at a maximum speed, in the best possible way, and in the fastest way possible. There you see Swamiji blessing in his characteristic trademark smile, even in the midst of these relief efforts. So that's it from here. We'll keep you all in touch, keep in tune. We have lots more to show as the day progresses. We'll try to come on NTV, if possible, before tomorrow. Stay tuned. Thank you. Nityanandam.